CJ training camp now in full swing. But before we get on that, just take me through what your summer was like. What'd you get up to? Obviously, a, a big summer for yourself personally, but uh, just take me through what it was like. Yeah, um, it's kind of a long summer for us, kind of being out right away uh, last season. Um, ended up kind of taking a little time off and then got married and kind of took a couple of trips, bachelor party and kind of a honeymoon with my wife. So, um, yeah, and then kind of got back to work and kind of try to get back in shape and have another good season. How important is that, though, just to have some time just to sort of reset, reflect on the year, and then come back to camp uh, in the fall just sort of fully ready to go, ready to get back locked into hockey? It's always good to get a refreshing. Um, like he said, it's nice to kind of relax a bit and um, see the family and see everyone you care about back home and uh, spend time with them. So I think it was uh, a good reset for me and I'm excited to get the year going though. Yeah, what does excite you most about coming back to camp though? Obviously it can be a long at times, you know, uh, a lot of practices against your teammates, but what sort of excites you and gets you going once you do finally get back into training camp and sort of get skating with your teammates again? Like you said, getting back and getting with the teammates, um, seeing everyone again and kind of building that chemistry again and, and looking forward to the possibilities of the season. And then what's it like, I guess, uh, it, it's crazy to say, but again, you've been here for a number of years now, a lot younger guys in the team too as well, just from uh, some of the off-season signings. What do you try and do to maybe sort of get them climatized or just sort of um, adjusted to life in Winnipeg and sort of life in the pro game for some of these guys too? Um, for the most part, I think uh, I'm pretty open to kind of come up and talk to and um, kind of lead by example out on the ice and off the ice and kind of show them kind of what to do. and. Um, you know, if they need it, I'm here to talk to anyone or help them through anything. So I think that's what kind of the older guys are for. And um, we don't have many of us as of now. But um, uh, yeah, I think kind of that's kind of our role to kind of guide these kids and um, kind of become the best teammates we can. And what's it like having a lot of guys from Norfolk up currently in the organization as well? It's got to be a cool experience for a lot of those guys who are just signed on ECHL contracts. But what that's, what's that like for you guys to welcome some of your teammates maybe in a, a different organization and get them into the system as well? Yeah, it's nice to put a name to faces because you hear it throughout the season. Guys talking about different teammates throughout in the locker room. And so it's nice to kind of see those guys come up and get a chance and kind of show their skills. And then for yourself, what are some of the goals for training camp? I mean, again, we've had a number as well for, from that since uh, you started, but is it just sort of sticking to what you do or do you try and do anything too flashy to, you know, gain the coach's eye or is it just a matter of, you know, like I said, just sticking to what you've been doing that's been working for the last couple of years? Um, I always try to set new goals for myself each year and um, kind of have those in the back of my head throughout. And, um, you know, I never want to settle and I never want to kind of be stagnant. So, um, yeah, I have my goals and I, I kind of like to stick a, stick to them. So, um, yeah, it, it's definitely a fun time and uh, I look forward to completing them.